I'm Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Duran. Welcome to an awesome new episode of VO Buzz Weekly. Heck yeah. Man, we've got a great show. Wait, let me first say, it is a national holiday. It is. The day that this episode is posting, which is Whoa. March 1st, Chuck Duran's birthday. Happy birthday, dear, dear Chucky. Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, we So wait, we... I have a great what? idea. If you want to get Chuck a present, like us on Facebook <laughs> and Twitter. Follow us on everything, share, post, comment, subscribe to YouTube. There you go. That is plug, good. Plug, plug, plug. <laughs> You're a good, you are a good promoter. Hey, you know what? Yeah. You know Speaking who else is good? And what? Bill DeWeese. Bill DeWeese is freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He's on the show today. We're going to be talking about all kinds of really, really cool things. You guys yeah. have seen his videos on YouTube. A lot of you have maybe studied with them. If you're not, mm -hmm. you're going to after you see him today. And we just got a hot show for you guys, for sure. So let's get to it. We have a lot to talk about. Let's do it. Well, he made it here from snowy Chicago. Our guest is an accomplished voice actor, author, and coach who's done thousands of commercials, corporate narrations, and audiobooks. He has taken a little break from his amazing two-day workshop to come get buzzed with us and share incredible information with you guys. So get ready to take some notes with the totally awesome Bill DeWeese. Yeah, oh, baby. Thanks, Stacey. Yeah. Look how he's doing. It's so good to see you guys. Bill DeWeese, yeah. in person. Of yeah. Dude, this I is love insane. the show. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. We love you, man. Oh my gosh, yes. you are such Absolutely. a great content producer. Oh, thank really, you. Really, really great appreciate information. That. Absolutely. We're going to talk about that. Yeah, okay. we're going to make you feel good awesome. for a second. All right? <laughs> or I'm just gonna, well, first of all, I want to I touch on this real quick because I heard that you stole the car to get here today. I did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did. I just <laughs> so stole the car. So we have to talk Luckily, fast. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah, he's like, you're taking my car. I'm like, really? You don't trust me in Los Look Angeles Look at that little car? Dutch face of yeah. yours. Exactly. Anybody will trust this. Hey, can I borrow your car? Like sure. like a little Dutch boy, Pete. So funny. But no, I have to tell you this, man, because because it's the truth. Uh, a, a lot of people want to be on our show, okay? And we're going to have you on our show, we promise, okay? <laughs> yeah. But you were like, we, we like, man, we got to get Bill on our show. You're so cool. All oh, the videos that we you. watch about get you. Get in line. All the people that we talk about, like a lot of even my demo clients that have worked with you said, man, the stuff that Bill did for oh. me is out of this world. And yeah, I'm like, like Jane really? Preston, Bo Stevenson. Absolutely, man. Oh, so good, so yeah. good people. There are people yeah. praising the Bill DeWeese name oh, that, out there mm -hmm. in a Thank big you. way. Yeah. You should be very excited yeah. about that. Well, so it I'm, worked out great because we were going to Skype with you from Chicago. Yeah. Right. And, you know, take a little sneak peek of your studio at home, but darn it, we couldn't get a look. But you were going to be out here, so I'm glad it finally worked out because it's always fun to have have people oh, here. Oh, yeah, can... because this, uh, this is very cool. Love <laughs> love the vibe, love being here with you guys. And to be any place but Chicago in February is a good thing. It's a good Absolutely. thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so I want to get right into it, man, because yeah. I know that some people have talked about you teaching them all kinds of really cool stuff, and maybe we can touch on this a little bit, but how can a voice actor generate more work whether he has an agent or not? How much time do we have? That's my, we're gonna that's we're my gonna question. go for the abridged version because yeah. if anybody right. wants to know more, yeah. they're gonna get a hold of you. Yeah. yeah. But give us a little bit of insight on 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 what some, some what somebody would need to do. You know, it's and without getting into a big long explanation, yes. I mean, <laughs> please. We have all the yeah. time in the world, yeah. by the way. You're it's not the leaving internet. Till, it's the internet. Yeah, it is. You're here for okay. a couple more days, right? <laughs> Yeah. We got time. You don't have till tomorrow morning to be on <laughs> no, the clock, no. man. So get comfortable with your well, but you know, stolen car. The, <laughs> the West Coast, East Coast, it's a different culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's still more established in the traditional way of getting work, you know, through your agent, which is cool. And I've got agents, and you know, right. everybody should have an agent or two or three or fifteen. How many do you have? Fifteen. Fifteen agents. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not being bombarded with auditions all the time from them. Right. Some of them are very market specific. Mm -hmm. Kansas City, mm -hmm. Cleveland, Ohio, you know, Dallas. You're like a and great then, stock portfolio. You're diversified in different I markets. use that example, Stacey. You do? I, I do. I say it's like, but I think of it, it as a mutual fund portfolio, the way, yeah. the way you do work. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think I just didn't know any better mm -hmm. when I started, you know, being, I really live in a small village. I mean, literally. I thought you were going to say small farm. <laughs> no, well, I live kind of out okay. a couple acres. I mean, okay. I literally live out, nice. but it's 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 about an hour south of Chicago. So mm -hmm. I don't even operate within that VO community, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm literally out <laughs> by myself. The lone wolf. So I, I didn't have any preconceived ideas. Yeah. But I have a background, uh, you know, I used to be a marketing consultant. I was a college professor for a while and taught business. And, and so I know that marketing is marketing is marketing. So yeah. I thought... Maybe, you know, let's just try things I already know. Right. Yeah. And so I just started 
doing stuff that I had really coached other business owners to do. Uh, and you know, you get in front of the right people. It's getting the right message in front of the right people. And if you have a good demo, yeah. Chuck Duran. Thank you very right? much. Yes. Thank you very much. You have, if you have a great demo, that rocks specifically. <laughs> <laughs> He's really good. I'm gonna. I'll he give you twenty good. bucks later, man. And you get in front of the right people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That you do that enough times, good things will happen. Yeah. yeah. And that is the abridged version. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a lot of specifics to that. But if yeah. you do that, and it takes a lot of tenacity, it takes a lot of work, mm -hmm. and you've got to constantly work on your product. Yep. It's got to become. You know, I've, I've been doing this full time for nine years. And I feel like I've made huge strides just in the past year. Yeah. I've been doing, you know, you know, so you can never stop growing, yeah. but you can never stop marketing either. Right. Absolutely, man. Well, and let's go back a little bit. You started, you, you have a background in radio, television, as yeah. you said, marketing and yeah. business consulting, college yeah. teaching, corporate education. How did you... What happened? How did I do all of that? Well, you, yeah, how did you do all of that? And you're only 28. I know, right? Bill, you're a prodigy. But how did you... <laughs> okay, so you've been... Yeah. What was the transition for voice acting? I mean, how did it yeah, come on your radar? I lost my job. Oh, there you yeah. go. That'll, um, that'll up the, the, the stakes company, a little bit. Yeah, I was yeah. working for a corporate learning services mm -hmm. company that literally just went out of business. Oh, wow. And so it was like, okay. I guess I'm doing something else now. Yeah, right? <laughs> what do I need? And, and honestly, I mean, this had crossed my, back when I worked in radio, it had crossed my mind. I mm -hmm. thought, boy, that would be cool. But I thought, you know, it's so competitive. And, and at that time, really, the business model was... You got an agent, you had to be available to go into a studio mm -hmm. or the office to, mm -hmm. for auditions. And then, if you were fortunate enough to get the job, then you had to be able to go in during the daytime. Well, I had a career already, yeah. and I yeah. just couldn't see myself. And I had children, and I've got bills to pay and a mortgage, and you know, all that kind of stuff. So I just didn't pursue the dream, mm -hmm. you know, at that point. But sometimes when the rug's pulled out from under you, yep. Yeah. It's like, well, I've got nothing to lose because I got nothing right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's how it all started for me. Leap and the net will appear, I like to say. Yes. Yeah. I leapt. I didn't know if anything would appear, but it did. <laughs> your kids and your wife will catch you. <laughs> yeah, oh, right. get a little left, Dad. <laughs> and love will only get you so far. you got to make oh, money at boy. some point to pay the bills. You <laughs> love know? is not yeah. enough. Now, do you think that the success that you started having to where maybe the point where you said, wow, hey, maybe I can make this thing happen, yeah. is because you took your business background and you applied it to voiceover? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah it was. Okay. It, because I've, I've worked in, in marketing enough and in sales yeah. enough, I understood that it was a numbers game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I understood that you can't just throw an audition out and if nothing happens, you think, oh, that's not be good enough. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, and that happens, you know, because time, we're, yeah. you know, we creatives, we're pretty fragile people, very fragile egos. Mm -hmm. And if, uh, if enough people say no to us, we think there's something wrong with us. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there may be. And there yeah. may be. And, yeah. you know, maybe and somebody needs to tell you that. And some of the that's time another there, show, there is. Bill. Yeah. yeah, that's um, another show. We don't do that. Here, maybe kind of you show. should lay on the couch and we'll sit over there. How does that make you feel? <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. I don't even get me started on how I feel. I was just, I was talking today about I'm a very, oh, anyhow, I'm much more of a feeling than a thinking person. So I, I can talk about feelings all day. I'm very good at that. Yeah, yeah. Very feelings good. are good. And that probably helps me a little bit even in, my, in so, the so, yeah. service. I want to touch on this real quickly, okay? We're talking about marketing I can't wait to hear this. and stuff like this. but And, and, and it's a quick answer. So oh. you'll, we'll get you out of here in two seconds, man. <laughs> um, so you have 15 agents. Now, yeah, I, I've asked Give or take. friends the yeah. same thing. Yeah. So you have around 15 agents, yeah. okay? And maybe you can't even talk about this. I hope you can, Bill. Okay. Don't let us I'll down. do my best. Okay. <laughs> um, you have 15 agents, approximately, but you also do a lot of promotion on yourself to get your generate your own work and yeah. stuff like yeah. that, right? Yeah. What would you say would be a a good figure or a good mm -hmm. percentage of, do you get more stuff coming from agency? Oh, that's or a great, work no. coming on your own? I'll be glad to talk about that. Okay, He's good. Ready. I bet He's less got than, the spreadsheet. Oh, I, yeah, I, I'm always throwing this number around. I bet less than 5% of my income comes through agents. Wow. Oh, yeah. okay. I'd tell you, one of the biggest revelations wow. when I started this coaching thing, which by the way, I never intended, that I was the reluctant coach. This was never my, Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's not what I set out to do. But when I finally did, yeah. uh, I was shocked the people that were contacting me. I mean, I expected people who were just getting started, didn't mm -hmm. know what to do. Yeah. What I didn't expect was accomplished actors and actresses and from New York and Los Angeles to start contacting me, mm. who, who were represented by some of the biggest and best agents right. in the country. And I would go to their website before I would talk to them and listen to their stuff and think, you know, I don't know what your problems are. I mean, I, I'm not yeah. hearing anything. Yeah. And, and what they would, and I would so ask, well, 
Yeah. Are you Why working? Why me? What's going on? Yeah. When's the last time you worked? You know, a year ago, two years ago. Mm -hmm. And I mean, these are accomplished people who have done some pretty great work, but they weren't working regularly. They couldn't pay their bills. It was, mm -hmm. you know, they were looking for the next gig. And it was because they were solely dependent on their agents. Mm -hmm. So some people can make a living solely through what they get from their agents. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I know very few people. Some. Yeah. And, yeah, most of those people will live on the east or west coast sure. to do that because they're right. within, you know, that culture. Yeah. Uh, most of us can't do that. Uh, and well, I wouldn't want to have to. I mean, what a tough way to try to, I mean, you're always dealing in just that one kind of talent pool. That's just yeah. a tough way to do it. There's so many opportunities. I mean, I could talk forever about, the, and you guys know, it's just, they're exploding. There are so many opportunities. There are so many ways to market yourself. There's so much work out there. Yeah. Now, like what are I'm not few, saying it's easy to, what are to a find. Few, what are a few of the big opportunities that you feel are like really growing or that are that there for the taking, if you will? Oh, sure. Well, I, I'll tell you, E-learning narration. E-learning narration. It's like narration. the most unsexy part of voiceover. Yeah. People would say, oh, e-learning, yeah. But you learn some oh cool my gosh. stuff, you can right? Make, yeah, while you're you reading. Oh, why really the people cool learn, stuff? but you learn too. <laughs> Is that I gone? don't do it because of that. It's I do a it because game. it pays I'll me, but you. yeah, I do yeah. learn a lot yeah. Yeah. about things I actually, things I don't, I have no idea what I'm saying most of the time. I really don't. <laughs> I do, I look a ton of technical narration, yeah. like for, you're like good for at Microsoft medical narration. and I do medical. You I mean, say yeah. membranous very well. Membranous? I don't remember saying that. Yeah, Membranous? I think it's in your demo. Membra <laughs> Membranous <laughs> tissues. Membranous yeah. tissues. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, it it can pay really well. Yeah. You know, not to be mercenary, but, I mean, this is my living. It's my career. Yeah. Uh, and there's, and e-learning is exploding. More and more companies are doing internal, that's that's what I came out of. That's what the that's what I was working, instructional yeah. design. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I was doing before I was doing voiceover. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's one area. Uh, explainer videos, in and of themselves, they're their own industry. You can make yeah. a living doing What's nothing but What's the difference between e-learning and explainer videos? Explainer videos are really more, it's more of a, it's a long form commercial. Okay. So it's a lot more animated. It's more of a, uh, you know, it's more of a cell type of read I see. where e-learning is a little more like, hey, let me explain to you how this new blade server from Dell works. Okay. <sighs> what? Exactly. No. Good so job. It's getting more and more, it's <laughs> yeah. more about the technical aspects of something rather yeah. than the end user. Yeah. And you're more mm -hmm. selling and explainer and you're more really telling Just and teaching. Just the nuts and bolts. Yeah. Right. And I enjoy it though. I mean, you yeah. know, it's not uncommon to do 50 to 100 pages a day for yeah. me. And I, and I do enjoy it. I really mm -hmm. do. Because I'm, you know, it's, it's totally non-glamorous. It's like, yeah. if people really knew what I do all day long, it'd be like, I don't know, this is what I want to do. Yeah. Well, I mean, one thing that I know for sure, man, is that, you know, in the past 25 years of working in this industry, I've come to know, and, and I know some of those people that you talked about that solely depend on yeah. all of their income from their agencies mm -hmm. and make a lot of dough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I know a lot more people that don't, yeah. that, that... And, and people don't know how to market themselves. They really don't. It's like, well, I'll, I have a Facebook, you know, well, that's yeah. not really what it's all about, you know? Right. You have to get in there and actually do some work and think about who you're going to hit, right? Yes. And what you're going to say and how yes. you're going to present yourself. Mm -hmm. um, is there any, for people that are out there, okay, that are maybe lost right now. Okay. Uh, in, 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 in that marketing aspect, what do you feel are a few key components of marketing yourself yeah. as a voice actor that you would say, okay, listen, if you were going to do two or three things right away, this is what I would do. This, this, and that. Okay. Let me, let me preface my answer yes. by, by, by saying this. It all boils down to who do I want to hear? Who needs to hear me in yeah. order for me to have opportunities? Okay. Okay. So where, where can I market Put my who who can I put my demo in front of? Where yeah. can I get the most bang for my buck? For me right now, pay to play sites. Mm -hmm. Pay to play sites. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I tell you, and you had Bo Stevenson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And Mike Brang. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. These are two guys who really understand Absolutely. that beast, yes. and uh, they yeah. milk it. They milk it to the mm -hmm. max. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Bo Bo said, "Hi, Bo. He's watching. He watches <laughs> every show." Yeah. Uh, Bo said uh, that he looks at those pay to play sites as like. Uh, the yellow pages. Yeah, it's like if you're a business, why wouldn't you be on the yellow pages? Right. Yeah. People absolutely. are searching for you, and yeah. and if you're not in the yellow pages, they're not going to find you. Right. So that was a pretty cool. Well, and as this whole business changes and evolves, yeah. you know what you're seeing is even more major advertisers are beginning to cast through those sites. Yeah. Now you can hate them or you can love them, and that's not. I'm not making. I'm just saying. The reality is, yeah. technology has changed everything. Mm -hmm. 
And even the guys who are making a lot of dough from yep. being solely agency stuff, if you know, if you're behind closed doors and they're being honest, they see the writing on the wall yeah. and they're starting to feel it. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. And they yeah. know things are changing. Yeah. yeah. And many of them aren't sure what to do about that, right. except be be upset and angry. Yeah. Right. When I and I get that. I mean, yeah. I would be. Yeah, I would be too. But once you know, once the beast has been released, once Pandora is out of the box, you can't put it back. Mm -hmm. right. Technology changes things, and that's the way it is. So you yeah. either adapt or you die. Yeah. Well, no, between technology and just the level of of, I mean, and Chuck knows this better than anyone, the volume of people that are wanting to break into the industry every day, right. or people that are in it that, like you said, are sort of stalling out a little bit that need to up their game and, and switch things up a little bit. Um, can you talk about what you think it takes to be competitive in today's industry? Yeah. Because you weren't in the industry 30 years ago, so you don't, you know, but what you notice now of really being a key player yeah. In the industry right now. Well, there's there's kind of there's, it's a two sided coin. There's on the performance side, and then on, on the really the business side of mm -hmm. things. And I think you have to be well rounded. You can't just be a performer. You can't right. just be a creative. Right. You've got to be a business person too. But on the creative side, you know, we've come out of this paradigm of of announcing, and and it's really, I. Forgive me if I start to sound like I'm teaching. I don't mean to, but that's I no, think that's just kind of well. No, we no but like we that. want you to teach. But you know, we've got, they want you to and teach. Being a former broadcaster, they don't want to hear you talk. This is <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've take come the out bait, of. Take yeah, the take the okay, I'll just go with it. Go I'm going to go with it now. So we've come from this paradigm of people talking at us. It's kind of it comes out of the, the military thing that yeah. you know that we we respect and honor authority, and like when I grew up. I mean, I had great parents, but I remember being in school, it was very much, we tell you what to do, you don't talk, you listen, you do what we say. And parents could, my parents weren't so much that way, but a lot of parents were that way. Right. And it was, kids were not there to be heard, they were there to be told what to do, mm -hmm. essentially. And that came out of the more the military yeah. thing. It's like, there's a chain of command, you honor it, and, and we were communicated to that way in broadcasting. Everybody was talking at us in big, bold, authoritative yeah. voices telling yeah. us what to do. There was not, it wasn't a conversation. Right. Well, things have evolved, culture has changed, and the way we communicate has changed. Mm -hmm. And you can't talk to people that way anymore. Yeah. You've gotta be a communicator. And so like today in this workshop, it was, this morning it was all about becoming a compelling communicator. What will make somebody stop and say, what did he or she just say? You don't wanna lean forward to hear. Mm -hmm. And that's not about having a great voice. I mean, you can have a great voice, it's not a bad thing, it's not yeah. a liability. But can you be a compelling communicator? Can you get people to want to lean in to hear what you have to say? Mm -hmm. So that's, um, you know, there's a lot that goes into that, but yeah. that's, that's the one seat, one part of the equation. Yeah. The other side is, how thick is your skin? And are you willing to do the stuff you've got to do? Because mm -hmm. I always say, it's not complicated. I mean, really, honestly, this is one of the simplest. In terms of simple, what I do is brain dead simple. I mean, yeah. it, it's not complicated at all, if people only knew. But I think what I do, maybe better than most, is I don't stop. I, I've got a plan, I know what I need to do, and I'm not afraid, I just keep doing it. Yeah. yeah. And I, again, I mean, that's, that's what I do. I just keep mm -hmm. repeating the formula and it works. Yeah. What do you think are some common mistakes that creative professionals make when it comes to running their business? Yes. They think that if I build it, they will come. Mm -hmm. And they will not. <laughs> you, okay. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not clear. <laughs> no, what do you mean? <laughs> you can build it and you can wait. Yeah. And, you can, and that's what they, you know, well, I've got my website. Mm -hmm. I've got a Facebook page. Where is I everybody? Built it. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's yeah. knocking on my door. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, they're not. I'm not saying something can happen. I mean, you yeah. know, some somebody wins the lottery every, no, every once in a while too. It happens, right. and Eventually, that's. Eventually, yeah. 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 But if you got to start knocking on doors, at least figuratively, if not literally, and you know, making the phone calls. Uh, emailing, reaching out. I mean, it's it's work. It's sales and marketing. It yeah. really is. I yeah. wish it was easier, but now, it's not. Okay. Now, when people work with you, yeah. okay, because you are for hire. Yeah, <laughs> he's he is for hire. No, <laughs> I'm not sure I how know, much hundred percent. I, 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 I know that so you don't. No, I know that you don't work scandalous. with everybody. No, no, I, I didn't yeah. mean that in a bad way, ladies. <laughs> yeah. and I, I'm first and foremost. I'm a uh, I'm, I'm a full time voice talent. You are. But I also you, I end up I actually help, do a lot of coaching. You're available for coaching. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. when when somebody is in need of your skills, yeah. okay, and the I see the SOS, that you have, I, so I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna rephrase my question here, so you, <laughs> uh, you help people out. Yeah. So so, 
is that something that you help people with? That the marketing aspect, oh, yeah. of who to reach out, and who do you want to get your yourself in front of, and, oh, and yeah. the actual steps to do right? Because that's I, invaluable yes. stuff, right there. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of okay, fact, like, cool. like tomorrow, that I'll spend a half day on on just that. I actually, uh, I, it's okay if I if I plug a website where yeah. I've got uh, yeah. voiceoverplaybook.com. It's like, I don't know, like eight hours Voice of content. VoiceOverPlaybook.com. Yeah. It's a program I put together yeah. that has like, it's like a four hour, it's a video of, of kind of like two, four hour tutorial yeah. in depth with screenshots. And, and actually I make phone calls and record it to real uh, oh, prospective clients, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it was like a half day workshop I conducted at the Midwest VoiceOver Conference. Yeah. And it just, it's a, it's a compilation of a very lot of different. stuff, but it's That's a very cool. specific strategies on what to do. That's yeah, and beautiful. Th and that, that, that calling thing is what freaks people out they're like oh i oh oh i have to call somebody i would never and you may not have to yeah but it, you know i have and it yeah. works what's the worst that could so happen easy. they hang up yeah, yeah. and nobody they say does. no i mean it's not like they're gonna put your picture can i share up with you the magic here call not, somebody right yeah, now do it just do call it somebody and, and 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 sell yourself as a voice actor hi i'm bill deweese yeah and good uh, oh, they, they said i'm hired yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's freaking amazing. They just heard your voice. All they got to do is Wait, hear no your voice. Wait, no offense. I'm okay, going to pay no. you for that. <laughs> um, that was, yeah. Can I get a refund? Let's role play. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sure. I mean, seriously. Totally. You, you got to, okay. So, okay. I, so, Here, grab your so, phone. so okay. I, I call you up. Okay. okay. And let's say you're, you're, you're a video production company. Okay. You know, I've done my research on your video production company. Mm. So ring, ring. Stacy J Productions, may I help you? Stacy, hi. My name's Bill DeWeese. I'm a voiceover talent and I was, maybe you can help me out. I was hoping you could put me in touch with a person who's responsible for working with voice talent for your company. Oh, uh, well, I can give you, uh, let me see if I can get him on the phone. His, his name is uh, Joshua. Joshua. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay. Patching you through. <laughs> Joshua. Now listen carefully to this next part. because Hello, the, this the is Joshua. Happened. Joshua, hi. Yes, sir. My name is Bill DeWeese. I'm a voiceover talent, and I was simply calling to ask you if you're currently accepting voiceover demos. Well, actually, uh, I might be. It depends. What do you have to offer? We, you know, you know what we do here. I know you're a video production company. I know you do a lot of commercial work and corporate work. I do that as a voice talent. And if if it's okay with you, I'd like just to send you a link to my website so you can review my demos. Well, absolutely. We're always looking for good people to add to our roster. Um, I would rather not have links. Please send us your demo so we can have it on file. I can do that, Joshua. What email address should I send that uh, to? Demos at rock. <laughs> <laughs> dot com. No, I'm just kidding. Deal uh, is done. Okay, so the deal is done. I mean, seriously, yeah. that's all it is. And that's pretty easy. And and, yeah. and the thing is, the bottom line, first of all, we didn't, that was completely improvised. We, we yeah. didn't even know we were going to do that. But the cool thing about us being able to do that is that that's really as easy as it is. Nobody's going to ask you some magical question no. that you're not going to know the answer to. Right. And, and I'm not asking you to hire me. Right. I never no. asked you for anything. Right. I just said, are you is, accepting do, demos? Do you do this? And exactly. can I do this? It's okay. concise. You're not going into your whole blah, blah, blah. It's just, yeah. hey, can I get another, you know. I mean, yeah. and, and don't you find that people will give out an email or connect with you on LinkedIn or Twitter or Facebook? I mean, I'm amazed at how much business I conduct at 140 characters. Yeah. yeah. You know, honestly, I haven't really utilize that to its capacity. Mm -hmm. That's something that, today I was talking with Dave Corvassier, who yeah. to me is the social media guru when yes. it comes to this, this kind yes. of stuff. And so, uh, and I tell him every time I watch him present, I'm inspired to try to, I'm so busy with all the other stuff I'm doing, I just really haven't mm -hmm. focused on it, but I know mm -hmm. that's an area that needs to be you know, exploited more. Well, and I think yeah. for some people too, it's not, even though it's not, I mean, the face-to-face -face thing freaks a lot of people yeah. out. But even the phone call with a human on the other end yeah. can feel too much for someone to dive into right yeah. away. So that's another way to get through to someone that maybe wouldn't take your call or you feel right. intimidated by that you can interact with. Yeah, exactly. And LinkedIn is probably one of the best, yeah. I would think the best yeah. places to do that. Right, yeah. because it is more professional. Yeah. yeah. You're not posting videos exactly. at a birthday right. party. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, social media is <laughs> as so, awesome as those are. Yeah, yeah. I know. Social media is so funny because, you know, like if you call somebody or maybe send them an email and they don't know who you are, they may not get back to you, mm -hmm. but if you reach out to them on Facebook 
or LinkedIn, yeah, they respond. Isn't that funny? How isn't that it, works? isn't yeah. it weird? And that's yeah. why they call it social media. Yeah. If you're not going to be social, you're not going to be on any of those platforms. That's a good point, though, Chuck. You're right. That's exactly uh, yeah. right. Well, it's happened to me. I mean, yeah. I'm trying to get a hold of certain people and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, you know what? I'm just going to Facebook them. And they're like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, whoa, that was fast. Mm-hmm. I called you three weeks yeah. ago. You know? yeah. um, but uh, the other thing that you were talking about earlier that I think is really, really important, and that's, you said, Get your demo in front of the right people. So right. when you're calling somebody, and listen, don't just call anybody. you got to know who you're calling yeah. and why you're calling them. And if they're a company and they do a certain per, uh, kind of videos, mm-hmm. you need to know the exact kind of videos that they produce so that if they ask you something, that you have a really good answer. So they can say, okay, this person actually knows what right. we do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that adds value to you as a voice Absolutely. actor. Absolutely. And by going to the website, you can figure that out mm-hmm. exactly. very mm-hmm. quickly. Very but cool. don't you think it's important to to be really lovely to that gatekeeper person? Oh, Because so yes. many people go, oh, you're not the decision maker, so oh. they do not. And I mean, that you know, that person can shut it off They fast. control. They, you they hold make the keys to the kingdom. That. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And so you can be, be very pleasant. And again, you're not asking them for anything except can you put me in touch with a, a person who works with voice talent? Yeah. And then when you get to that person, is are you accepting demos? Nine mm-hmm. times out of ten, they're going to say yes. It's mm-hmm. not a okay. Hold on, let's go back. The deal. Nine times out of ten, they're going to say yes. Yes. So look at those odds. How many auditions do you have to do to actually get a job? <laughs> yeah. How many phone calls do you have to make to get a yes? Mm-hmm. This is really it's once you do it a few <laughs> times, it's like the simplest thing you could do. Yeah. Now it doesn't mean they'll hire hire you, but what it does mean is you've got another person listening to your demo, yeah. and that's gold. Yeah, Absolutely. and you never know yeah. the timing. No, oh, And no. I don't think there's any accidents in life, you know? Yeah. So it's like that day that you call and they go, sure, and you send it, oh, my gosh. I mean, how many times has that happened to you? I got a call Will you this get a campaign week or something? That from somebody I marketed to three years ago. Mm, wow. And they call you this week? They call me this week. Mm. They for some, they kept an email. They, or Really? They did? Yeah. yeah. Wow. wow. I, it, I mean, it doesn't happen all the time like He's that. Yeah, it does. But it does. He's it good. happens. Okay, so how Very can memorable. people how can people get in touch with you if they want to? And, and obviously, we have viewers that are all over the world. Will you do it by Skype? Obviously, I like when, when I'm doing my coaching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, I do everything by Skype. Yeah. So what's the best way? Even if way you're for... my neighbor, we'll do it by Skype. Okay. Just because you're not going to go way walk I roll. in that snow. Exactly. Because <laughs> yeah, he's right. kind of uh, standoffish. Believe me, <laughs> so so where do people go to work with you? Yeah. Like, How can they find what's, you? What's the website? What's, what's the email? What, yeah, the, the website is voiceoverrevolution.com. Voiceoverrevolution.com. Revolution. Okay. Yeah. Com. It's right there. Yeah, and my email is voiceoverexpert at gmail.com. Okay. Voiceoverexpert Great. at gmail. And okay. search Bill DeWeese on YouTube, and you've got yeah. absolutely 250 tutorials. And at I your will disposal. encourage people yes. that if Pops you haven't seen any of Bill's uh, uh, videos, what's your what's the name of your YouTube channel? It's Bill DeWeese. Bill yes. DeWeese. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. on YouTube, Bill yeah. DeWeese. So Go to good. his channel. Uh, definitely subscribe to it because you know it's so freaking awesome. But he's got these little short videos that are so, and that's that's one of that's how I got to know you mm-hmm. <laughs> because I'm like looking at your stuff, going like this guy is so right on that it blew my mind, you know. And then all of a sudden the video's gone because it's five minutes long. So I'm because like watching all these videos, learning all this great yeah. stuff, and, and, and that's why you're on VO Buzz Weekly. Yeah, right? well, yeah. and that's how it all happened, right? And that's yeah. how it all happened. <laughs> wow, how cool was that? Bill DeWeese, hey, guess what? Next week, we're gonna be back with more. Absolutely, and hey, you guys, are you gonna see us at VO Atlanta 2015? Have you gone to voatlanta.me? We hope to see you March 12th and 15th. We're going to do a live VO Buzz Weekly there to kick it off, and we are so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to see you guys there. Yes. So keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We love you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and just remember, you you always have time for a little buzz.